god, we have so much stuff. Oh, I just finished unpacking everything. You have our kitchen area, the living room. This room will kind of be... Okay. Welcome to my moving vlog. I felt like I needed to jump in from the future and just provide some context to this video because I have been so inconsistent with sharing on my YouTube channel. I don't really share that much personal information outside of like my typical beauty and fashion content. So I thought here, let me just let you guys get to know me a little bit and provide some context to the vlogs that I'm gonna start uploading, hopefully on a weekly basis. And I think it all sort of starts with what the past year of my life has looked like. So it is currently 2022 and we've lived through the pandemic and it was so crazy. My life changed so much in so many good ways, but also in some challenging ways. Basically, I went to school in New York. I studied communication design and journalism at Parsons and Eugene Lang. And in my junior year, the pandemic started and I moved home with my parents in Columbus, Ohio, where I'm from. And I lived there for like, a good year and a half, two years, I think two years. It was a really long time um, and it was really difficult uh, like it was for all of us during that time. I finished out school online and then I got a job outside of, like right after school working in social marketing for a luxury beauty company and I did that for about a year. And during that time, I started posting a lot of videos on TikTok. I've always been a really creative person. I've always been into photography and videography. Originally, when I started in college, I wanted to get into documentary filmmaking. Um, and then, you know, <laughs> I learned that it doesn't really pay that well. So I transitioned over to marketing. So anyway, I started posting a lot of makeup videos, some fashion content, and really grew a following on TikTok early in the pandemic, which was great, it was so fun. After like a year of working my job in marketing, my corporate job, I decided that I was gonna take the leap and quit and pursue my own social channels full time. This was also the same time that I was like, I'm moving back to New York, I just like, I'm ready to get back to my life again. So I moved back to New York, I think in, April of 2022, seven or eight months ago, I started shooting some footage. And you'll see my childhood bedroom that I was shooting all my content in, I was working out of. Um, I took the bed out of there so I could have more space and slept in the guest bedroom. I packed up all of my makeup and then basically with two huge suitcases moved to New York. Today is not the sunniest day, but it's kind of a vibe. It's a little gloomy. But when you walk in, you have our kitchen area, which is so nice. I'm sure we're gonna spend a lot of time in here. And then this is the living room. Maybe doing a dining table here, couch. We're still trying to figure out where we wanna put a TV. And then when you walk down this hallway, we have our first bathroom in here. I love that it has this little ledge in the shower. This is the room that we wanted to make our bedroom. I have a queen duvet on top, but I think I'm gonna order a king because I hate it when you can see like the foundation of the bed. And then over to the next room. This room will kind of be our office. I have this temporary desk here that I got from, I wanna say Bed Bath & Beyond. And also we have the largest closet in this room. But for now, I just have a few things in here. I did order us matching robes from Soho House, which they are just the fluffiest. Like it literally feels like a blanket and they actually have hoods, which is really nice. I will link those down below if you guys wanna get them. And then this is the second bathroom. Whoever just came and dropped off a bunch of boxes that were in our storage and oh my god, we have so much stuff. So I just finished unpacking everything and I'm so happy. Like literally, I've been eating like cereal since I got here. So I'm really glad to have all this stuff here. I forgot to show you guys, but we have this Eames chair that was in storage. This will maybe be our couch for the next 
two months until our real couch arrives. I think the last time we spoke, I was unpacking all of our dish stuff from storage. Um, so it's been a minute, but I'll give you guys a little bit of an update. I put everything away so nicely in our really nice cupboards and just made everything look as good as I could with my height. Um, but we did buy a ladder, so I'm sure those top shelves will be filled soon. The mirror that I ordered arrived today from CB2 as well. This is what it looks like. I can't remember the name of this specific mirror, but I will definitely link it down below. It is so beautiful. I did end up ordering a larger duvet for this bed. I did an exchange, so I like this one better. I think it just covers the sides and looks a lot nicer. Um, we currently have some book nightstands at the moment. Um, so I also need to figure out what we want to put there. I hung up all my clothes. So <laughs> it's still an organized mess a little bit. But these are the counter stools that we got. They are this blackened wood. And I think they look really good with the walnut wood in the rest of the kitchen, like it kind of pulls out that black. But we got these from the Design Within Reach outlet here in Industry City. So for our table, we ended up buying something from this company called Live Feather, which is actually a furniture rental company. Um, but they also let you buy stuff for a discounted rate because it's been used by other people who have rented the furniture. So we got this for like a really good price just as an interim table. There are many more vlogs to come. I'm so excited to be like posting on YouTube. I can't wait to share my passion for interior design and just share a lot more of my life outside of my typical beauty and fashion content. If you guys want to keep up with me on the day today, you can follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I'll link my profiles down below. Um, and definitely turn on your notifications so you can see whenever I upload. I'm gonna try for Wednesdays and Sundays. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.